How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today I'm going to show you how to fix any keyboard related issues you may be experiencing on your iPhone, especially in iOS 17. So this is super, super common ever since iOS 17.0 was released, many, many people are complaining about the keyboard. So most users are having a laggy keyboard. So you're typing normally on your iPhone, either on your notes or any other native Apple application or actually third party applications like Instagram and WhatsApp and so on. And then as you're typing, your keyboard becomes laggy and then it becomes extremely slow to the point it just freezes completely and it's super super frustrating so this is one of the many issues iphone users are facing with the keyboard others have to do with suggestions and auto fill and so on so in this video i'm gonna show you how you can fix that and it's super simple so let's go ahead and open up our settings and then scroll down just a bit and tap on general and then right here on about you'll see that i'm running ios 17.4 which is already a pretty late version of ios 17 right we are six months in ios 17 and we're still facing this issue as a matter of fact i started having this issue ever since i updated to ios 17.4 which means that even in ios 17.4 apple still hasn't fixed the problem so we still have it even on those late versions of iOS 17 so what can we do it's actually super simple guys the best solution that I found is actually right here in our settings and all you have to do is scroll down tap on general and then scroll all the way down and tap on the second to last option transfer or reset iPhone Okay, don't worry, I'm not gonna tell you to reset your whole iPhone, all right? And then go ahead here and tap on reset, and here we have some options. And the option that we're looking for is reset keyboard dictionary, this one right here. And as I said, I've tried everything and this is the best solution that I found. I've tested on all of my iPhones here in the studio. And of course, I'm always talking to you guys on Instagram, on YouTube, on the community and getting the feedback. And this is the best solution for this problem to fix this problem. OK, so as you can see, all you have to do is tap here on reset keyboard dictionary. Wait a few seconds, it's gonna ask about your passcode, that's your lock screen passcode, okay? So you're gonna type in your lock screen passcode, and then if you have enabled a screen time passcode, it's gonna ask as well. And then go ahead here and tap that in, and then as you can see, reset dictionary. What it's saying right here pretty much is that you're gonna lose just some of your suggestions, so your preferred words, uh, some of the autofill suggestions. So it's going to reset uh, that knowledge that it gathered from you, right? And also the preferences on your emoji. And that's pretty much it. So it's pretty much nothing for the benefit of fixing the issue, all right? So go ahead here and reset dictionary and then that's done. So it's instant, there's no feedback, there's no screen, there's no spinning wheel, nothing like that, which is weird coming from Apple, but that's it. We have successfully reset it, all right? And then all you have to do is just start using your keyboard normally. So go ahead, use it, see if it fixed it. I'm pretty sure it's gonna fix it for you because it does fix for pretty much everybody, all right? So go ahead, test it out and see if it works. If it doesn't work, then you have pretty much two options. Option number one, and that one I just recommend if you're really annoyed by this issue, which is really resetting your iPhone. So erase all content and settings, fully resetting your iPhone, and then reinstalling uh, everything back up, right? And reinstalling your iOS and reinstalling the whole thing. But keep in mind that if you do this, you're gonna lose all your data. So you need to back up your files first, back up everything, and then reset it and then recover that backup. Uh, if you don't know how to do that, I have a step-by-step -step video. I'll link it right here on this card and I'll have the link in the description down below. But as I said, I just recommend this option if you are really annoyed by this issue, if it happens a lot, because it's a lot of work to do this just for this specific bug. But that's an option for you right there. And as I said, there are two options. And option number two is just wait. So this is a bug, Apple knows this, 
It's been reported multiple times, thousands of times by users all over the world, and they're trying to fix it, but for some reason they're having a hard time, and all we have to do is wait. Wait until Apple releases a software update that just patches this bug and fixes this issue. Until then, that's our best bet. That's our best option. Reset your keyboard dictionary and you're pretty much good to go. Okay, so that's it. Thanks for watching this video. Please leave your feedback down below and let me know if it actually did fix it for you. I'm pretty sure it will. Okay, so thanks a lot and I'll see you in the next video. Guys, bye bye.